everyone. Welcome to Kitabi Cabins. I am Pratika. Today I am here to talk about an author, Frederick Backman. He is a Swedish author, writer, blogger. He writes columns. He has published his work both in fiction and non-fiction. His fiction, one of his most famous, A Man Called Ove, now also adapted as a movie called Man Called Otto. His other works include Grandmother Sends the Regards and Apologies, Brit Manny Was Here, Anxious People, the whole of Beer Town series, and his non-fiction work includes things my son needs to know about the world. I got introduced to Backman back in pandemic 2020. I started with a man called Ove. I started it and then I kept it back. I picked it again. I kept it back after 10-15 pages. I was not able to keep up through it. I thought that it was too slow and the storyline was not moving ahead. But once I crossed 30-40 pages of the book, I finished it overnight. It was a warm, mushy bundle of human emotions and life and reality. Frederick Backman writing makes you want to become a good person, a better human being. To say that his single piece of book could be categorized in a one particular genre is definitely an understatement for me. The characters in his book, of course, there is a main protagonist, there is a storyline that is being followed. But apart from that, lie 10 and 20 other different characters with their individual personas, very deeply rooted characteristics, very well written with much depth and gravitas. And Bachman writes and handles it so beautifully that it does not overwhelm you as a reader or does not distract you from what the main storyline is. His writing reminds me of one of the things that Rajkumar Hirani said in The Making of Three Idiots. He said that I keep every scene in a movie that could be again watched as a short film in itself. That's what Bachman writing does for me. Even if you read two, three paragraphs or just one chapter a day, that is a short story in itself. You relate to characters on grief, on death, on friendship, betrayal, parenthood, success, failure, failure that you overcome very easily, success that you think that you always wanted, but it seems very futile once you get it. I related to parents even when I'm not one, when a child of a character was going through something very tragic. His father foundation, his backdrop was actually humans and their emotions and what we go through on a day-to-day basis when something hits us, whether it is happiness or sadness. Currently, I'm reading uh, the Beer Down series. I'm actually on the last book, the third book, The Winners. I have an unpopular theory about Batman after reading this series that uh, cats have nine lives, right? I think Batman is a cat because how can someone with limited resources, with limited time on earth, with limited interactions with another people, carve so many characters with such humongous amount of depth in each one of them is beyond is beyond my understanding. Fatty Batman doesn't write, he paints. He paints a perspective that you have to perceive. He doesn't say that the character is bad. He just shows what good or bad the character is doing and how you want to perceive it is totally left up to you. Very few authors can do that. They do not let their opinions overpower the character's opinions. Let's talk about Beer Town. Beer Town is a book series based on a town called Beer Town in Sweden where the town and its people are obsessed about hockey. The hatred towards hockey. Everything revolves around that. Even politics revolves around that. Majority of your readers might not be familiar with the sport. But if an author can write about such a specific topic, making the readers not feel detached, I think it's a testament of a writer's ability. I found this in another book, The Magic Strings of Frankie Pesso. Book is related to music. These are a few topics not everybody relates with sports, especially hockey or music. And somehow the writer makes it such an ingrained part of his storyline that you do not even feel overwhelmed by the terminologies. Second thing that I really like that uh, Frederick Backman does really well is how two characters can befriend each other when they are coming from two different generations, different culture, different habits, techniques technology, everything. You can see it in A Man Called Ove or Grandmother Sends Regards and Apologies. I'm going to go back to reading The Winner's third book of Beer Down series and please do read it. And if you find yourself in my place that the first few chapters are a bit difficult to go through, please I request you to be patient with it. At the end of the chapter, he writes a few lines that come back much later in the book and they hit you with a totally different perspective. So yeah, be patient and I'll see you next time.